Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a book review. And the book I'm going to be reviewing is Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. And this book is um, about a girl named Frances who she's on a cruise ship with her family, her parents, and the ship gets, um, ends up getting attacked by these men with guns, and they murder everyone on the ship, and, um, pretty much set fire to the ship and sinks it, and Frances and her best friend Libby manage to escape on a life raft, um, and two other people, um, survive the attack, and that's Senator Wells, and his son Grayson and Frances um, when her and Libby are in the life raft and they drift out to sea and they're there for a week before someone finds them and rescues them and um, but by then Libby has already uh, died and it's just Frances on the life raft well, she gets taken, um, rescued, taken on board, and, um, ends up getting taken in by Libby's father, Cecile. Um, she tells him everything that's happened, and he pretty much, um, offers her, he offers to take her in if, um, and help her to... Um, find out what happened on the ship, who was behind it all, get to the truth of everything. Um, but she has to assume Libby's identity to do it. So she does. She takes Libby's identity. And meanwhile, um, Senator Wells and his son Grayson, um, they have lied to everyone about what happened on the ship and they basically said a rogue wave um, took down the ship and sunk it and everyone on board and they were the only two survivors um, so pretty much they've been lying and Francis wants to find out why um, why are they lying are they involved in what happened on the ship what's going on, and she wants revenge. She wants revenge um, for what happened, losing her parents, um, losing her whole life, pretty much. And so she um, she comes up with this um, elaborate scheme to get close to Grayson and try to get the truth out of him. And um, just a little bit about Francis and Grayson. Francis and Grayson, before everything happened on the ship and the ship went down, um, they were dating. They met on the ship and they started dating. And they were falling in love until, you know, ship got attacked and went down. And then they hadn't seen each other for four years. And Francis comes back to town, um to try to get revenge and get, uh, find out why, um, Grayson and his father lied, um, about everything that happened. So, this book was my most anticipated book of 2015, and I could not wait to get to it, um, because when I read the synopsis, it just reminded me so much of the show. Revenge on ABC, and I absolutely love the show, and so I could not wait to get this book and dive right into it and find out more. Um, the one thing I will say is, because it, it um, reminded me so much of Revenge, and I had, I kind of had really high expectations going into this book. Um, which is not really a good thing, um, 
because I, I, I don't want to say I was disappointed, but I was disappointed. Um, because I did have really, really high expectations. Um, so I was kind of let down. But I did still enjoy this book. Um, I'm still not sure if I want to give it a four stars or three and a half. I've been going back and forth between three and a half and four stars. Um, a, a lot of it did remind me of Revenge on ABC, um, the show. Um, Frances, her character, um, pretending to be Libby and all her scheming and calculating. That reminded me a lot of Emily. Some of the things she did in the book, um, I was like, that is totally something Emily would do. That's exactly what Emily did do. And so some of it does remind me of the show. But then um, that's where the the um, my expectations were way too high because then some parts I would read and I'm like, come on, Emily would have never done, like, you should know better. Emily would have never done that. And I kept comparing the characters to the one on the show and the story to the story on the show, which in a lot of ways it is like that because, um, you know, Frances, when she gets back into town, part of her planning and scheming is to get close to Grayson again and get him to fall in love with her as Libby, of course, because um, she took over Libby's identity. So get close to Grayson, get him to fall in love with her, and get him to reveal the truth about what happened. Um, and so that was, um, that part is similar to the show, because in the first season, Emily is trying to get close to Daniel, um, as part of her whole revenge scheme. So there's a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences too, even the names as well, um, the senator son Grayson, and on the show, um, the main character that Emily is trying to get revenge on, his name is Grayson. So there are a lot of um, similarities and parallels, which is why I couldn't help but compare this to the show a lot, and I did have high expectations, and just didn't end up meeting those expectations. I did still enjoy it. Um, I really did enjoy it. I got through it. Um, well, if it wasn't for work, I would have got through this super quick. But, yeah. Um, one thing, though, the, the relationship between Francis and Grayson... Um, I really didn't care about their relationship or them as a couple. It was interesting to see what would happen with them um, because it would affect, you know, her whole um, revenge scheming and plotting that would be affected, obviously, because she... Frances goes into this thinking, okay, I'm going to go in, I'm going to get him to fall for me, get him to reveal what actually happened, but I am, you know, furious at him for lying about it for all this time, and so um, my emotions are not going to come into this, I'm not going to like him like I did when we went on the cruise ship. So she's pretty much telling herself, you know, I can handle this, I can deal with this, I'm, you know, he, I'm just doing this for revenge, 
he's not the same guy I fell in love with, blah, blah, blah. But of course, you know what's going to happen and you know she's going to end up falling for him again. And so, um, it was interesting to see that happen, to see her sort of falling for him. Because then now she's starting to second guess her, um, her plans and her scheming and everything. And she's like, well, you know, maybe I should just let this go. Maybe I, you know, should tell him the truth and, you know, forget about the whole revenge, um, plot scheme thing. And so that, that was interesting to see what she was going to do. Um, but as far as them together as a couple, I really didn't care about them. Um, but anyway, I did still enjoy this story. Um, it was pretty interesting. Um, some, you know, some parts, like I said, I kept comparing it to the show and to Emily's character on the show. And so some parts I'm kind of like rolling my eyes like, come on, Emily would never do that. You should know better. You should not have done that. But, I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. Um, I still enjoyed it. And I guess, um, I don't know. I, I think I'll give it a four. I'll stick with the four. That was my original rating. It was a four stars. Um, I did enjoy it. Was it the greatest? No. Um, didn't meet my expectations. But I still had fun reading it. I still enjoyed it for what it was. So, yeah. I'm going to give it a four stars. So, that's pretty much it for this review. Um, if you've read this book, let me know what you guys thought. Um, in the comments below, especially if you watch the show Revenge, um, let me know, do you guys compare this, um, the book to the show, what were your thoughts, and yeah, that's it for this video, I will see you guys next time with another one, bye!